Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I'm bringing you a review of the NECA Ultimate Trick or Treat Sam figure. As you can see, I've got uh, Sam with some of these accessories out in front of the packaging here. I'll take the figure to the side, side at the moment to give a look at the packaging. Uh, I, as you may recall, I bought this late last year in December from the brilliant Frank and Son. Um, well, if you're based in America, you obviously have heard of Frank and Son in Los Angeles, which is a fantastic sort of... Um, Merchant Hall, which you know really specialises in action figures. It's the only place I know like it in the world, and I really, really love my trips. I've been there uh, twice now. Um, I picked this one up on my last trip for a very reasonable price of twenty-five dollars uh, from 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 there from so there. Really, really good. If you if you haven't if you are in America and haven't been to Frank and Sons, I highly recommend doing so. Or when it's whole um, COVID things, I would recommend if you can go over there. Um, you will not be disappointed. Uh, Frank and Son is absolutely uh, fantastic, especially because uh, I'm a big fan of figures, as you imagine, with this channel. It was absolutely heaven to me, so um, really, really loved it, and I picked this one up there. As you can see, it's got a... <laughs> talking about the uh, figure again, I should say. Um, you really got, yeah, sort of like a shiny cover. Like the whole package is quite this, uh, sort of like a, got a shiny effect, which is really nice. On side, you've got a promo image of Sam from the film. Next to one of these pumpkins. I believe this is from one of the scenes in the film as well. I saw the film just last Halloween. Uh, you got the back of the package in as well. The camera seems to want to focus. Got a big picture of there of Sam. Some other promo images of Sam. You know, with some of his accessories, which is really really cool. Uh, you got a real read up there. A film trick or treat. The down, the down, but the door doorbell rings. The cry goes out. Trick or treat. But what what's actually going on during this ghostly All Hallows Eve? Something eerie and unexpected. Something sp splattered and spooky. Something that brings ghouls, vampires and werewolves in the night. Answer the door, a shocking surprise awaits. If you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend doing so. Um, I saw the film a couple of years ago uh, on DVD. Fell in love with the film instantly. And um, I'll just go into my discussion about Sam in a minute of um, what led me to get in this one. But I really do love the film. I haven't seen it. I highly recommend doing this. I've also got the uh, Scream Factory uh, Blu-ray, which came out the other year. So I really do love, I do love the film, and I do love the, the character of Sam. I'm really hoping that Mike Doherty does a sequel, because this film was absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm not going to go into the history of the film, but if you know uh, about the distribution, it was you know came straight to DVD, which is a shame, because it's a fantastic film, because of the, obviously the um, distribution troubles or anything else. But if you haven't seen Trick or Treat, highly recommend it. I absolutely adore it. There you go, here's a package in there. Uh, enough gushing about that. Uh, here is the figure itself. I've got his little light-up pumpkin. I'll turn it off for the time being. How do you turn it off? Oh, yeah, just look like that. Okay, I'll turn off a little pumpkin for now. Uh, here's Sam. Uh, you can see he looks really, really cool. Um, I was really... When NECA showed this figure off, I knew I had to get it immediately. Uh, this is a big, big upgrade over the um, NECA Cult Classics, which I have got and I will show you. In a little while, this is a big upgrade. A uh, big upgrade. And before I did record this view review, I played with this for about ten minutes. It's absolutely incredible. It really, really is. It looks absolutely outstanding. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. It's an absolute pain today. There we are. Well, no, we're not. It just does not want to seem to focus today. There we are. You can see the head sculpt's really, really nice. You've got the button eyes there. The little sort of sewing, not there to make the smile, the stitching of the actual um, burlap up sack. Got the ties down here as well. Got some patches on his pyjamas. I call them pyjamas. This is a little more cleaner than the um, Colt Classic. I'll show that in a little while. At the back here, he's got a little, um, what it does up at the bottom. Really, really cool. He's got his little shoes on. I think it's like a whole body suit. Pyjama suit, really, really nice. There's some subtle paint here. I'm not too sure if you think it shows up on camera too well. But um, the soles are... Well, the front toe bits are a little bit brown. Looks really, really nice. Look like shoes. The wrinkles on the folds do look really good. He's got his little hands here. Really, really nice. I really, really do adore this figure. It's absolutely incredible. Um, if you're familiar with NECA um, toys, which you probably are, and they released the Chucky figure, you know, the, or the Chucky and Tiffany figures, um, 
and also uh, Annabelle from the Conjuring things, um, Conjuring films. I've got um, the two. I've got three, uh, three versions of Tucky, Chucky, two versions out of packaging: the Bride two pack and the original um, ultimate release. If you're familiar with that figure, you well the Chucky's in particular, you know the articulation you're getting here, which is quite similar because obviously it's a you know smaller body. But this one has a ball joint in the head. We also got a ball joint in the neck as well. I'll show off when I showcase the heads. It can go quite down, but obviously with the other heads, it goes uh, down a bit more. Goes back and goes side to side really nice. He's got ball jointed shoulders. He can go out like that. No problems at all. The articulation this is absolutely smooth. Got double jointed um, elbows. You can see the two joints there. You can bend really, really well. And you also can swivel, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, really dig that a lot. With the hands, he has ball jointed hands. So, you know, they're not on any um, hinges or anything. Yeah, they are, they are in hinges. This one goes in and out. Uh, this isn't the original hand on this side. I changed the hand over because I wanted him to hold the lollipop, which is the uh, most iconic accessory he comes with. Uh, this one goes... I'm trying to see. Yeah, this one's in and out, up, in and, in and out as well. Uh, he has a ball joint. Does he have articulation here? I'm not too sure. How, he, might, he might have articulation here, but it's covered by the body. I can't really uh, tell. Uh, I'm not too sure the articulation in the chest. Um, there feels like there's something there. You can get some side to side. So there is some motion there, but it's not really much. And again, um, the character of Sam you know, didn't really do, if you've seen the film, wasn't like, overly doing any overly complex poses or any movement like that. So you don't, it, you know, don't, there's not, there is some articulation there, but I can't really tell what it is. But it's hidden by this, um, covered by this body overall. Um, by this, you know, softer plastic for the suit. He's got ball jointed legs, so he goes... Um, Full range up like that, down back quite far, out pretty far, only hindered by the sculpt. It has a swivel out there as well, it has a single jointed knee, which works quite well, not too tight. And he has ankle rocking ankles, so he's got a full range of motion for a very little figure. He's got a lot of um, articulation and he stands perfectly. I haven't suffered any loose joints or any anything of any kind with this figure. So overall, very, very happy with it. Uh, before going over the, I'll bring the camera down. If I can need more. Before going over the figures accessories, I'll bring in the NECA Cult Classics for comparison. <clears throat> this is the original figure on the base. This was a uh, grail item for me for a very, very long time. If you've seen my NECA Cult Classics uh, retrospective video, you know all about this figure and uh, how much I uh, was after it for a long time. And um, I really wanted it because I'm a big fan of the film and a big fan of the character. So this figure was a absolute must-have for me. And you can see, uh, for the time, it's, it holds up pretty darn well. Even now, you know, the detailing and everything on it is fantastic. Uh, but you can see this one... Is miles better if you can't get this one get this one's more widely available but still if you can get this figure you know for a decent price like I did I highly recommend doing so as you can see the, the body is a little bit bigger a little bit bigger than the uh, cult, uh, the uh, the ultimate Sam a little bit bigger and a little more dirtier if you can see here I'll bring up put my little Sam my new Sam to the side and you see this is the older one so he's got a bit more dirty a bit bigger and the other one, you can see he's got a big sort of patch here. It doesn't have the blood stain or the blood or some stain here. It doesn't have that on this one. So, yeah, and of course, this figure is less articulated as well, and the shoes are slightly different. More white, where those ones are more brown. So I, think this, I think that's more accurate. Uh, of course, this figure has less articulation. Uh, this one just has a ball jointed head, a swivel at the wrist, a swivel at the elbow here, a ball joint in this arm, a little ball joint here, and a swivel at this wrist, and uh, that's all she wrote with this one. But overall, overall, this is still a fantastic figure. Of course, as well, you do get this really, really cool diorama base, which is awesome, which I've showcased before. Uh, one thing I'm going to try in this video, I haven't tried it yet, is I'm going to try to put the new uh, Necker, Col Necker Sam on this base. I've never tried it before, until now, so let's see if that works at all. Um, 
He's got board. He's got peg holes at the bottom of his feet. I think it may not work because this figure is a slightly smaller than the other one. But it's just a matter of um, trying to find. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's put the other Sam down. I don't think this is going to work. Because um, this figure, this sand figure is a bit too tiny. And I don't think the peg holes are... I think the peg holes at the bottom of Sam's feet are a little on the small side. So unfortunately that doesn't work. You can probably get him standing on here. But not on with the little... with the um, peg base. So I don't think that's going to work. No, so I don't think that's um, going to work unfortunately. But it's, you know, still a nice base. You probably could put them on it. But you can't use the peg holes, but you know, it's pretty good. Um, put my new Sam <laughs> back here for a moment. Um, as you may know, if you've uh, had this figure already, I'm gonna put him back on the base. This figure comes with the the new Ultimate Sam comes with exactly the same accessories as this Sam, but with some nice new additions as well. Obviously, you've seen the film. You have to have this figure, and you saw the film. I think, oh wow, you know, it could come with more accessories. This one uh, more than makes up for it. I need to go and put the correct accessories on this one. So um, let's do a bit of a comparison. Here's these little. No, that goes back there. The little flaming pumpkin goes here, and uh, the other pumpkin goes here. Right. Um, we have accessories. Let's put the new. Put the old Sam there. Got the new Sam here. Um, with the new Sam, you get, of course, get the iconic. Um, it just doesn't want to focus today. It's having a hard time trying to focus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Just doesn't want to. Focus today. Come on. This gets it for like a second, and it just completely. You can see it comes with these little um, bloody pop knife, the uh, bloody pop sickle, sickle uh, weapon, which he bites, and then you can use it as a weapon because it's sharp here. Really, really nice detailing on it. Still got the same sort of candy stripe um, design as the cult classic, but it's a little bit smaller. Because obviously the figure's smaller, so that'd be smaller. I can take it out of hand. You can see it's just, you can see it, but it doesn't really show up on camera too well, but it does have the uh, stripey effect on it. Um, like with the cult classic, which you can see there, he also comes with the same accessory, which is this little chocolate bar knife. The uh, yeah. You know, It just doesn't want to focus today. The camera is absolutely shocking for focusing. It's absolutely shocking today. Just can't get to focus whatsoever. Bear with me, folks. There. Oh, it's almost had it. Bear with me a second, folks. See if I uh, can clean my cameras, make a difference. I don't think it has. So. Uh, doesn't want to seem to focus today. Oh, almost had it. I think I'll just try and move the box out of the way, see if that makes any difference to it.
Well, if you've um, got the other thing originally, as you can see the accessory there, it's much the same, just a little bit smaller with the silver blade coming out here and the um, wrapper handle. Yeah, as you can see, that looks really, really nice. It doesn't fit in this hand, it fits in an alternate hand, um, which I do have here. It's got a wider grip. To fit the to fit this chocolate bar in, I can show you. I won't put it on do it on camera, but um, yeah. See, it holds a knife like that, which is really really cool. Unfortunately, on feature this feature, the figure doesn't have, which this one does. Um, this Sam can hold both his accessories, which is the the chocolate the chocolate blade and the lollipop. Whereas the Sam, unfortunately, he's only got one uh, either this hand with the bigger grip for the chocolate bar. Or the smaller grip for the lollipop, unfortunately. And I think I've got the uh, lollipop, the, one with the chocolate bar, the wrong way around with the... I think the, um, the big bit of the wrapper is meant to go on the outside of, of, the, uh, of the hand, I think. Uh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like that. That's, yeah, it looks really, really cool. Oh, that's a nice sharp blade there. Looks really, really, looks really, really deadly. And the other accessories that the... That, that the um, the original um, cult classic came with, which this figure also comes with, is the burlap sack with uh, a little bit of blood in it. This, the blood in this one is a lot more subtle than on the uh, cult classic version. Uh, There's a little bit more subtle, as you can see. It's um, on this side here. You can see some slight. Doesn't really show up too well in this light, but you can see there's a slight uh, redness um, to to it, whereas that one's a bit more caked. I do like the texture to this as well. It's a bit more softer. This one is really, really nice. Obviously, you can see there's something in there because it looks rather heavy. All the darker things, obviously, something wet is in there. We never know the uh, contents of this um, little sack that um, Sam drags around, but you can. Uh, I think he's punished some people who haven't been uh, following the uh, trick or treat rules too well, and Halloween rules too well, so. Um, really, really cool. He, I'm not sure if you can hold or anything, I haven't really tried it, but you could probably, you know, get it into that hand if you wanted to. And the other accessories he came with are two pumpkins um, that the original came with. You can see on the diorama there, this is the this is the new one. This is the old one here, it's a bit more brighter colour orange. And this is the newer one, which is a bit more, um, hang on, I may have got myself confused. No, I think... Which one's the new one? It's hard to tell. Let's see if I can turn over the packaging and give you an idea. Unfortunately, there's no shots of it. Um, there's no shots of it. I've got myself really confused now. I think... This one feels older. Whereas this one feels newer. So I reckon this is the old one. And this is the new one, I think. I think. Actually, maybe the other way round, I think. Yeah. I think this is the newer one, the duller colour. The more realistic colour, this is the uh, older one. Both the same, about the same size. Which makes it hard to tell. And it didn't help when I picked up both. Um, so this is the newer one, I believe, and this is the older one. Look really, really nice. The detailing of both is um, absolutely superb. Really, really nice looking fig um, accessory. That's the same ones it come with. Um, um, of course, the other new, same accessories to come with is the flame one. This is very easy to tell. Uh, this is the old one. This is the brand new one. And you can see the flame is much bigger, and it has a really cool feature. Boom, lights up, look at that, that's a brilliant effect. That's why I've got my lights off for this review, is I can really showcase this brilliant pumpkin effect. It very much works like the um, Halloween 2018 Michael Myers uh, uh, Jack O' Lantern, works the same. So, um, you know, push down feature, it looks really, really nice, nice bright light in there. Really, really cool. Now that is a way of other accessories, and I've just noticed when I looked at the back of the packaging for Sam, you can get him holding the burlap sack in the wider gripping hand, which is which can also hold the knife. So, if you want to have him holding the sack, you can have him do so. But I'm going to have I probably going to have this one holding um, the weapon because it's yeah, more iconic. 
but as you can imagine, I'm probably going to get a second <laughs> as Sam figure pulls the accessories he comes with. And the brand new accessories he comes with are absolutely excellent. Um, I'll showcase them now. So they're the old accessories. The new accessories he comes with include a severed hand. If you've seen the film, you know he has, has a battle with uh, Brian Cox's character towards the end. And um, he loses his hand, of course. It, it comes back um, with attaches back to him but this is the um severed hand which crawls along the floor you can see all the pumpkin -y bits uh strewn out here it looks really really nice detailing on there you can see the stump or the yellow the pumpkin juicy sort of stuff really really cool the hands are really well done this is just an accessory you can't interchange anything it's just you know if you have your sam crawling uh, sitting on the floor like he is in the film when he's battle damaging this next to him like it's going next to him just remove one of the hand that hand it's really really cool nice detailing on it and the other new accessory comes are the heads. These are absolutely excellent. Um, this is the head um, where you see, during the finale of the film, where he's uh, biting on the lollipop. And what's really cool about this, you can interchange the head. I'm going to do it for the review. You can, the heads are so easy on this one to pop on and pop off. That's only my complaint with some of the NECA figures, ultimate figures. Some of the heads are very easy, to, hard to um, interchange. Not with Sam, thankfully. Uh, this one's uh, really easy to change over the heads, but you can see you can get them like sound like that. Um, you can have the lollipop like this, and you can actually pose it. I get the hand to oh well, the head's not on properly. Well, that's on properly now. Right, you can easily get turn the lollipop around. In his hand, you can get it in there like he's eating the lollipop. And I believe this figure has an articulated jaw, which is awesome. I even realized that when I took this out of pack, um, before I did this review, I took the figure out of the package and I was really surprised that they have articulated jaws. I'm not too sure if this head has an articulated jaw or not because it's hidden by the mask, but you could probably try and peer it down and open it because it, when you know, when I had this figure. Neck, when they had this head off this body, you can see it's got the articulated jaw, well, the, 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 you know, the line where it should be. But I'm not too sure if it entirely works or not. I'm sure it does, but it's very, very tight. But, you know, you've got a nice wide, you can see the mouth in there. The head's a bit more narrow because obviously his jaw is opening. Really, really cool. You can get them posed like he's eating the lollipop, which is absolutely aces you can really if you can do probably more skill than me you can probably get the lollipop in there with the mouth open but you know that still looks absolutely incredible um i'll do a pop off that easy pops off you know because other two other heads this is the normal head the unmasked head for sam which you see at the finale of the film i re when mask came off i was really impressed with the the character design and that's what made me want to get the this one here so I really do love the design. Uh, comparison head comparison time. This is the old head with the cult classic release, and this is the new head. You can see there's some big differences there. The eyes are bigger. Um, the red is a bit more subtle, and um, the head's a lot bit more on the larger scale side than this one. But I still do think this one a lot. The eyes are you know, the same. Got the little X's in them. You still see the little stitching sort of marks there on top of the head along the eyes. But this one is a big big improvement i think the paint's better as well really really nice and what i do love about this thing i never knew oh, he's known before i mentioned it before he has an articulated jaw which is just absolutely incredible there you are num num <laughs> that is awesome i never knew that the, the figure could do that but i'm so happy it does so you can get him look like he's uh, munching down on the lollipop that is that is <laughs> That is incredible. I need to get another one. I need to get another one of these. This is absolutely aces. Um, the other comes with another interchangeable head, which I'm glad they came with as well. This one's a battle damaged head. As you can see, the paint is almost nearly the same, but this one has a bit of battle damage on it. And what I really love, if I bring this head in, you can see there's a little pumpkin seed coming out the head. I thought that was a defect at first until I remembered. Oh yeah, he's, you know, his head's basically a pumpkin. And... Um, you can see some pumpkin seeds there, along with the strewn out bits here. And of course, this one as well has an articulated jaw also. That is incredible. That really is incredible. And of course, before I wrap up this review, um, I'll show you the articulation of the neck. Because you can see there's an articulation point here at the neck. So you can go pretty darn forward like that. 
pretty darn back, which is really, really cool. So he's got a lot of articulation in the neck, especially with these um, unmasked heads. Overall, this is an absolutely excellent figure by NECA Toys. Really glad I picked it up. I'm surprised it's taken me took this long to get around to reviewing it. But after reviewing this toy, I am definitely considering buying a second one because this figure is absolutely incredible. If you're a big fan of Trick or Treat, I highly recommend this figure. This figure is absolutely superb. It is an absolutely stunning release by NECA Toys. Really do dig it a lot. If you, you can still get this figure, I've seen it's still available on Star Action Figures, eBay, you can still get it. I don't think there's many bootlegs of it around, thankfully. I'm not too sure if this figure is highly sought after. But for me, personally, this is one of the best NECA Ultimate figures they've ever released. It's absolutely stunning figure. My highest recommendation. I probably, even though I got this in 2019, I'll probably include this in my top figures of 2020 list because I basically opened it up just this year and it came out towards the end of 2019 just in December time, so um, highly recommended. If you haven't got this figure yet, and you've been um, umming and ahhing about it, I highly recommend doing so. If you have this figure, please note, comment down below what your thoughts on it, or list your favourite NECA Ultimate figures, or anything else about the NECA Ultimate line, uh, pipe down in the comments below. Anyway guys, please like, share and subscribe, and there's plenty more content to come, and bye for now.